Okay, hello. Um, I am on OC.TC, I'm on Midnight Train, and I'm getting my stuff sorted in the usual order. People are popping stuff on me and I don't like it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get suited up. I'm gonna have got, I've already got a shovel and an axe. I like this very much. Um, and this map has been going on for a little while, it seems. Uh, there are structures all over the map, so I'm going to have a little, little look around, get acclimatized, get my armor sorted, which I'm doing right now. I am on purple team, so kill greens. Kill greens. I also I think I've noticed that uh, Odyssey is around and he's on the green team, so I'm going to avoid Odyssey. And yeah, I shall see you in a moment when I've got this all wrapped up and running. Alright, I had a sneaking suspicion that that guy was a green guy. <laughs> He's now dead. Okay. Um, oh, here comes another one. So I wanted to talk today about something. I actually have a, a kind of a topic in mind, and that is things that hold you back in PvP. Things that might... Oh, God. Die, guy. Okay, I think I've already found the first one. That is commentating. Commentating is a real setback to PvP skills. Um, you get distracted, <laughs> you shout at people, yeah. Um, okay, I'm just going to try and find some position to just stay in so I can talk. Oh, we won. That's not what I wanted to happen. Oh no, hang on. Yes, we... yeah. Okay, I'll see you in the next map, and you'll know exactly what we're going to be talking about. <laughs> okay, we're back. There's a guy right here. Damn. He's wearing diamond... Oh, there he goes. That's good. He was wearing diamond armor, which showed that he had been in the wool room. This is a different map. It is Race for Victory 3, I think. Um, we have three wool rooms that they have to steal the wool from and get back to their side with, and we've got to do the same to them. Um, but yes, we were talking about something, weren't we? Uh, what was it? <laughs> um, things that hold you back in PvP. Um, or, or just in general, I guess, in Minecraft. <sighs> I'll have to say, right now, heat is holding me back. The oh, It is so hot here. I feel delirious. And not in a good way. <laughs> Die, guy. And, um... Oh, it just seems like there's no signs of letting up in it. <laughs> I feel just hot. We had to turn the fan off because we're recording. And the... Oh, the game is over again. You've got to be kidding me. I am never, ever going to get to put this episode up. I am sorry, guys. I will see you in the next map. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back again. I'm in Temple Run, I think this one's called. I haven't played this one uh, a lot at all, really. Um, it's a core defense one, so we've got to protect that, and we've got to break their one on the other side. Now, what were we talking about? <laughs> Things that hold you back. I was talking about the heat, yeah. I think the obvious one is lag, which I've been seeing a little bit on, on this one uh, already. People freezing up and stuff, but hopefully that's just because it's the start of the game. Um, I'm going to move forward, see if I can get a few shots on people. I haven't... I don't really know this map very well, but I don't want to go down there, that's for sure. And we are red, so kill blue, and there's a blue just over this here. So let's go for this guy. Um, yeah, here's one. Switching computers from the one that you usually play on. That will screw you up so badly. This guy's got no armor on. He's one of these rushing people, you see? Uh, so I'm just going to go down and get him. <laughs> oh. What the hell do you do that for? Get... Mm. This guy. What's your name? What is your name? Phantom Seven. I will remember you as a douche. 
Right, this guy. He's going to get shot off and into the water, it seems. Please don't land on the water. Nah, so close. He's firing up at me. I'm not sure if he can even... Yeah, he can. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, changing computers to the one that you don't normally play on. Um, it's... It's one of those deals where if you get really used to playing on a computer, like I have on this one, then as soon as you change, something will be different. It doesn't matter if you have... if you remember all of your settings that you had on the other computer and you match them exactly. Things are always going to be slightly different, and that will throw you off. Hey, uh, guy, you're not wearing armor, you're going to die. <laughs> um, bleh. Yeah, so, I mean, like when I was playing on WMC, which is still going at the moment, um, and it's a great series, um, UHC with some very talented and and just generally good UHCers slash YouTubers, um, and I was playing on the laptop because uh, Odyssey and I both were playing, but we were on different teams, so we couldn't be in the, sat in the same room. So I took the laptop out into the other room, and, uh, oh, <laughs> one of the worst, worst technical experiences of my life. Everything went wrong. Um, but not only that, even when we got most things sorted, it was kind of a deal where, ah, uh, the blues very close by, two of them as well, don't like that. Oh, he died. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was on the laptop, and even when I got most things sorted, just everything felt slightly off. And it's like things like with um, mouse sensitivity and and the fact that the the mouse wheel will will behave just slightly differently, and the screen might be a different size, and you know all these things will make a difference to PvP. So if you really want to get good at PvP, I'd suggest staying on the same computer as much as possible. Hmm. You know, actually, this is what it's like. For any of you who play a musical instrument, or hmm, anything else that requires kind of muscle memory, if you, if you learn a song, then you kind of, you, you know, um, instinctively how to play that song. You know, after a while, you can just move your hands and you'll know how to play it. But if you stop playing it for a, for a while, or even better, if you start playing it on a slightly different instrument, or say, say you're used to playing on a keyboard and you try and play it on a completely different piano, right? It feels entirely different and you'll mess up the song, most likely. I do. <laughs> um, but that that is exactly what it feels like. So yeah, if you want to get good at something, just stay on the same on the same computer. So there's a the thing. Oh, that guy fell. Oh, that guy. Ah. What's this? Water. Oh god. Ah, glitching into a block. No! This'll hold you back. Ah, I get punched off. Okay, this might be block attacking. I can't see him. Oh god. Ah. Down. Right. Okay, that, that adds to the list. Never get stuck in a block. Minecraft holds you back from doing PvP properly. Ugh. What I was trying to do at the end there, I don't know if you noticed, um, I, I placed some blocks beneath myself. I didn't mean to do that. I tried to switch to the water bucket in time. Because um, if I'd managed to place that water bucket underneath myself as I was falling, then I wouldn't have taken any fall damage and I wouldn't have died. So, uh, yeah, that's... I suppose if there's one thing, one good thing to come out of that is that I can <laughs> give that little tip there. I don't like dying. Or I've got a... I wonder who killed me. I wonder if I can actually, uh... Uh, okay, it's knocked off by pork chops. Right, pork chops. <laughs> I am after you. Alright, I'm back at the front line. I'm trying to think what else might might throw you off during PvP. I suppose there's another thing... Oh, you're not pork chops. But I'm gonna turn you into pork chops. <laughs> okay, that was terrible. Um, you guy. You guy, right there. 
you're dead. Um, yeah, say you're trying to PvP and then uh, Odyssey comes up to you and starts dancing around in your face, then yeah, that might distract you. <laughs> um, so. Yeah. <laughs> so if, you, if you're trying to PvP, then you've got to make sure that the room is calm around you. I think there, there you go. That's another tip. Make sure that Odyssey is not around when you're trying to PvP. Um. Oh no. <laughs> See how distracting that is? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just trying to move up uh, to more of the front line so I can shoot down on a few more people. Um, of course, the thing to remember is when when you're moving forward is make sure you know when to retreat. Oh, he's here again in my face! And um... oh, wow, look at this guy. That's a distraction. <laughs> yep, yeah, just keep on moving and keep on uh, checking all sides to make sure that no one is sneaking round or, or you know, your your routes are, are blocked. You always gotta know where your escape routes are. Right, this guy needs to die. How's he not falling off that block? He fell off the block, that's fine. I want to know where that pork pork chop's got. What was that? Tank. Right, this guy was trying to spleef me. Tank Driod Ten was trying to spleef me. See, this is what you've got to be wary of, because you do have to work with your teammates. This is what I was saying last time. You have to work with your teammates, but some of them just try and come along and screw you over. <laughs> so. If you ever see Tank Driod 10, beware, because he might try and spleef you. Named and shamed, sir. Named and shamed. Got that guy. Alright. Blue Team 1. I think I'm definitely going to end there. Isn't it ironic that I was talking about things that will hold you up in PvP, and the map kept resetting like that, <laughs> holding me up? Ah, well. Anyway, I have been a case, and now we're going over to Odyssey. So, what does he have to say about PvP? Thank you for watching. Okay, hello, and welcome back. This is a new map, and it's a very interesting map. It's called Glacial Impact, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's all very snowy. And what's really strange about this map is that your bows don't fire arrows, they fire snowballs. So... Unfortunately, in this map, you don't get the ding, the really satisfying ding impact of hitting someone. But, uh, I don't know, it's, it's one of those maps, again, where it's fairly easy to kill people. Uh, anyway, we are... we came in a little bit late, and we have about 11 minutes left on the clock, so let's see what we can get up to in 11 minutes. Okay, here's something to talk about. Why... oh, wow, he just died. <laughs> um, here's something to talk about. Why is PvP great? Why should we learn how to PvP correctly and um, effectively? And I'll tell you why. It's because it feels so damn satisfying. When you're... Uh, ow. When you're um, in the middle of all of the action, everything that's going on, like, like here, where it's just a mass of um, team versus team, or if you're on your own. In fact, sometimes when you're on your own it feels even better because, you know, it's entirely your accomplishment. But it's just, when you get that, that shot or that kill, it just feels so good. Oh! Hm. Someone shot me. I don't know who it was. Yeah, but, um... So yeah, it's, it's very satisfying to be able to PvP very um, effectively. And it does come with practice, and a lot of the time it's extremely frustrating. It's probably the most frustrating gaming experience in my life. When you, um... Not, not just when you die. When you die, um, 
unfairly. That's really frustrating. And I'm just killing everyone. Uh, oh, it's a naked man. What the hell? He looks very strange. He looks like a baby. Oh, he is a baby. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> anyway, distractions. Uh, I believe that's what Ed was talking about. What can hold you back in PvP? Distractions. But, uh, yeah. So, um, why else is it great to learn how to PvP? Because you you just know how to defend yourself. I mean, it's, it's like real life. Um, it doesn't have to be in a, a PvP or, you know, a, an exclusively PvP situation. Uh, if you're on a, a survival uh, server where PvP happens to be on, then someone might come along and try and kill you. And if so, it's very, it's very useful to be able to know how to defend yourself, or to, to know how to be able to defend yourself. And, uh, ah, it's so good. <laughs> so yeah, PvP is, is, it's useful to learn. And, um, as I said, it can be very frustrating, and it takes a while to learn how to do it properly. It just comes with lots and lots of practice. And, uh, yeah, I'm not glitching. I swear I'm not glitching. Oh, Ha! You get the dings! Alright, they've just updated it, it seems, because they've they've added the, the glitch notification thing, and they've also added in the dings, which never happened before, and that was one of the reasons why I didn't play this one much, because I love the dings. But now you get them. Oh, that makes me happy. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I think I'll just turn my timer off. So, I think we've we've covered, uh, What's what's great about learning as PvP? This guy's just gonna die, isn't he? He's stuck in a spider web. Oh, I actually feel sorry for him. <laughs> There's not much you can do in that situation. But uh, ooh, they're starting to rush here, so let's try and hold them back. Um, so we've we've established that it's it's useful to know how to PvP, and it's it's just quite satisfying. It's very fun as well to PvP most of the time when you're not uh, being cheated out of a life or being spleefed by someone who's supposed to be helping you, then uh, it's very, very fun. Uh, I need to find something new to talk about. How about top two tips for learning how to PvP? Oh god, that's a tall order. Why did I say this? Um, Alright, just top tips if you're, if you're, if you're new to PvP, because I doubt I can provide that many tips for um, people who have already who already have some experience with PvP. It's just um, it's just practice makes perfect. In fact, that's one of my tips. Practice makes perfect. The more you practice, no matter how frustrating it is, no matter how many times you want to just break the keyboard on your knee, it's it's always going to get better in the end. And you just the time is going to come where you realise that. You've come a long way since starting Minecraft PvP, and uh, yeah, so just keep on practicing whenever you can, whenever you feel like it, and uh, don't be. Ooh, let's fix that. Uh, don't be dis uh, disenchanted, disheartened. Thank you, disembodied voice. Don't be um, disheartened by. The fact that you you seem to always die and you seem never to kill anyone because the likelihood is um, you just haven't noticed how many people you've killed because you've um, you've just died a lot as well and that kind of takes precedence in your mind. You're thinking, oh god, I've died so much. But um, yeah, just keep practicing and you are going to get better. I promise. So that's that's one of the tips. Um, Oh god, look at my inventory. I've got so many, so, so many potions. Alright, let's back off before we die. Um, everyone's got so many potions. I think there are quite a few people online on this, this particular map. So, everyone's getting a lot of kills. Oh, the dings! It's amazing. Um... Uh, okay, let, let's let's go for a second tip. Sorry for getting in your way, guys. Um, a second tip is 
Mm. Uh, learn how to use the bow before learning how to use the sword. Because the bow is by far the harder... Oh, God. Is by far the, the more difficult um, weapon to, to learn how to use effectively. And... Uh, but on the flip side of that, it's it's by far the most useful. Ooh, and I just completely missed. Oh god, everyone's glitching all over the place. Um, yeah, learn how to use the bow before you learn how to use the sword, because the sword, or the shovel, in my in my case, um, it's it's extraordinarily limited in its uses. So, oh, keep keep going, go on, go go go. Um, yeah, it's it's really kind of a last resort weapon, so don't rely on the sword or whatever melee instrument you have. Instrument? Weapon. Um, it's much better to stay at range, particularly if you're a beginner. And if you, if you begin by learning that way, then chances are you're going to get better. It's, it's far more difficult to, to start learning one way and then decide, ah, oh, actually this this way isn't the, the most effective way of PvPing. I'd better change, but you find it's quite difficult to change. So, um... Yeah, I think... If you learn how to use the bow, just learn how to start um, hitting with your shots. Because it does take a little bit of a while. A little bit of a while. Wow, good job, Odyssey. Um, it does take a little while to to get the the what I call the arc right, and um, and start actually hitting with those shots. But once you do start hitting, if you just learn that, and if you learn how to dodge and how to retreat, is probably the most important thing. Then you're all set, I think, at least to to begin with. And that's the end of the the map. So that was uh, that was what we got up to in eleven minutes. And I'm sure I rambled on far more than I was supposed to. Or far more than I should have done, but uh, I hope I hope you viewers have got something out of that. Thank you for watching, and uh, we will see you in the next episode of PvP.